<laughs> so let's get into that now. So we're going to tell functions file and we're going to begin passing the URL. Um, but in order to test this, we're going to create another file. We're going to call it test. We're actually going to test the URL. So we're just going to take a URL here and we're going to place it here. So we're going to make sure we um, get any correct information, right? So we have the URL and we want, what we want is to actually start passing the information. So let's see how we do this. I'm actually looking at it now. All right, so what we're going to do is you're going to use file get contents, right? So this is going to get information from the URL. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Then we see HTML DOM. So you could, you could Google this DOM document, but it allows us to um, pass HTML. It's not perfect and it doesn't work in every situation. All right, anyway, so I believe the at sign um, disables error messages that would normally show up warnings no, it disables warning i think that's what the at sign does if you notice our at sign there it disables warning um so we load the html and now that we have that what we could do one of the first things we want to get is the product title so let's look at the page we go inspect we want to see what the id is i haven't figured out how to do it for class but the id is it ttl so for most cases this will be the it the id of the product page so what we can do now is we can say oh, one second what i have that's the class, sorry. The item title is the name of the ID. So I was wrong. So here's what we're going to do, right? We're going to say um, title is equal to HTML DOM get element by ID. And what is the name of the ID? Let's check again. Item title. So we can copy that and paste it. I hesitate to be using this so much. You know? Because I feel eBay might block me. I don't know if eBay blocks. Um, and then we can do title, text content, and this will just give us the the content of that. So let's just run this. I am only going to do this once. If it works, if it works, we can assume it always would work. So I don't want them blocking me and spoiling the tutorial. All right. Um text content of non object so what are we doing wrong I'm about to find out so uh, if you notice what we should have done was passing the HTML that we read from the URL so we didn't do that so we get an error so now we can run the test and we see we get Isu's laptop so if you go back here we see that that's that right so that's great. And again, this is the last time I'm going to run it because we want it to actually work.